Today I'm gonna to be fixing one of my extension poles. These things are really expensive. This is, I believe, like a 12, eight to 16 foot extension pole. It's really expensive. It broke, it's got a crack right here so the thing just slides right off. It's not supposed to do that. And I went down, picked up some JB Weld. This stuff will fix just about anything. So I'm gonna fix it. I don't know, I think this stuff probably was only like six bucks or so. Saves a lot of money versus rebuying one of these ext extension poles, which is a lot more expensive than that. Stuff's really easy to use. Just gonna show you how I go about fixing my tools. And got this JB Weld, it's just got, it's a two part epoxy and just will glue and uh, fix just about anything to automobile parts. I saw on one YouTube channel a guy fixing an engine part with it and so here it is just a two part epoxy just mix the two parts evenly and then I'm just going to smear it on my extension pole right here put it down inside this crack and we'll test it to see if it fixed it and I believe it's going to fix it or I wouldn't be doing this so uh, kind of cool stuff, easy to use. Just got myself a little piece of cardboard right here to um, mix it on. And I've just got, there's a little thing that pokes the lid right there. I'm just gonna squeeze out even parts, about you know as much as I think I'm gonna need right here. So I'll put about that much down right there. Once again, it's pretty simple, easy to use. Oh, wrong end of the cap. There, put out our other part right here. And then we'll just begin mixing them. I got a little painter's five in one tool right here. I always got one of these things are laying around in my pocket or in my vans. So I'm just gonna, you mix it and you'll see it's like kind of marbly. I wanna get it all completely mixed together and then I'll begin applying it. It should be like a light gray color once it's all mixed. Looks like it's kind of you know, light gray, dark gray. Once it's mixed, I can begin applying it. It says it uh, sets up, set time is four to six hours, cure time 15 to 24 hours. It, the cure color is dark gray. It says it's got a strength of 36, 3,960 PSI. Original cold weld formula, steel reinforced. Pretty simple. Now I'm just gonna apply some you know, around my, right around this. I wanna glue all this together right there. And then I'm gonna start forcing it down into the crack. I think that's probably just gonna use all this up here. And I got this, just gonna force this, put that on. Now I'm gonna start forcing it down into this crack. I'm just going to fill this crack all up. Then once I'm all done, I'm just going to run a screw right in here to help reinforce it. But let's get all this stuff here. Pretty cool. I've used this stuff quite a few times to fix things, fix some things on my pool with it. and. But got it all filled. This crack is all filled now. I'll just try to get the excess and put it around the base. This stuff is absolutely amazing. It'll, it says, um, see, it says on here, great for household repairs, automotive, plumbing, marine, crafts, and more. It'll glue or fix metal, wood, plastic, tile, PVC, ceramic, fiberglass, concrete, and more. It says it's the world's strongest bond, JB Weld. I think I got it at my local hardware store. I'll have some, I'm gonna put some in my uh, video link description right down here so you can uh, get it right in my video description. You go to my tool store at theidahopainter.com. If you haven't seen my live show, every Monday, uh, Mountain Time, USIM, I've got a live show, home improvement how-tos and painting tips. If you haven't gone to my website, theidahopainter.com, I've given away a lot of tools and products on my website. Giving away an airless sprayer right now. Just gave one away last week and um, giving away a lot of other really cool products. You can also follow me on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, and even Instagram if you want to see what I'm doing outside of painting and uh, home improvement stuff. See what the heck I'm doing on the weekends and stuff. Anyways, this thing's going to set. I'll um, let it set here and dry in 24 hours. I'll test it 
and see if it's sealed and glued and ready to go back to service and do some more painting. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please consider subscribing to my channel. Give me a thumbs up and a like. And once again, we'll see you on my next video. Out.